see how long my microphone lasts. This is the show that ruins restaurant prices. That is what seafood should taste. That is what sea. That is what seafood should taste like. Mm. Welcome to the show where we figure out what we're cooking while we are making it. As usual, I'm Wesley Newfarmer. Um, I'm really not that hungry right now. Sounds of a rainstorm and there's a fly going around. All right, let's see what we got in the fridge. Hard boiled eggs, hummus, sardines, milk, very active sourdough starter, a tomato, lemon, salmon. We have a whole chicken here. Oh, okay. Frozen scallops, frozen fish, lots of homemade focaccia. I don't want a huge meal right now, but I do want a little snacky something. Um, and I haven't had seafood in a long time, so that's salmon, those scallops were talking to me. So I'm gonna do just some quick scallops. How should I make them? I don't know, that's the point of the show. Let's find out while we're doing it. Ah! All right, I took the scallops out of the oven, out of the oven, sweet Jesus. I took the scallops out of the freezer and let them thaw for a while. Um, in the fridge, that's the safest way to do it. Then I've come back and they're on this plate with paper towels. What I'm gonna do is just brown them off. I'm gonna do seared scallops because it's, you know, that kind of restauranty appetizer or main course. I can do something refined. So let's just get a pan ripper on hot so we can do this. <laughs> this is hilarious. I keep being like, oh, and I also got out, and I also got out, all right. I also got out lemon, garlic, and butter. I'm also gonna start preheating the pan because I want it really hot. You know, I don't have like really great herbs right now. It's raining, there's a thunderstorm. Um, so I'll just do like a garlic butter and scallops. Amazing. I don't need the garlic to melt in or anything and I don't need little bits of it in the food. So I'm gonna leave it pretty giant. I'm just gonna smash it to take the skin off. Um, and if it falls apart into pieces, then that's great. Ooh. And if there are any pieces like this, ooh, just cut them off and you'll be fine. This is not the freshest garlic in the world. One should use better garlic than I have here. Then lemon. Um, what I wanna do is just use lemon zest and like toast up the lemon zest. So I'm gonna sear the scallops in the lemon zest and it'll just be sort of nice and citrusy without being acidic. And most importantly, without adding any liquid. As we all know, liquid is the enemy of browning. Zest of half a lemon, done. And salt the scallops. Da -da 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 -da. This cooks super fast, so I'm also gonna get out like the plate I wanna put it on and all that kind of stuff. I don't have a pretty plate, that's the way it goes sometimes. The pan is heating up. It's very, very hot, I can already tell. Let's do two tablespoons of butter. Do I know what two tablespoons of butter is? Yes, but it also says on the packaging. Ooh, that is already zippity doo dah browning super fast. Let's add some olive oil. That may seem like a lot of fat because it is. That's the way it goes sometimes when you overpour. And let's throw in our chunks of garlic. You don't want the garlic to burn. You don't want the lemon zest to burn. So let's add all this stuff then fast, huh? The garlic is already browning. The lemon is already browning. The oil is infusing with those flavors. So before they brown, they actually can release themselves from the pan. So these are starting to be able to release themselves from the pan. Let's flip one over. Nope, not browned yet. Ooh, that one flipped nicely. That one's gonna be nice too. Nice. And I'm just gonna baste them as you would a steak. You can see that the lemon zest and the garlic and everything are really browning in all the oil. It may look like some of this is really, really burning, but it's not. It's just the camera. Stop touching it, Wesley. Stop touching it. Have the patience of an adult. And I'll be writing down details about how to do this, so just check out the recipe in the description box below. I always point too early for this. I have the heat at medium heat. I haven't really moved it from medium heat. Every chef in the world is like, stop touching it! The kitchen is smelling like all good seafood. It's amazing. 
The lemon zest is starting to brown a little bit much for me, so I'm just gonna take that out. All right, these are done. Let's take them off. And these may seem burnt, but I promise they're not. All right, I'm just gonna toast up some of the focaccia in that fat, because it's gonna be so delicious. And then I'm gonna take those browned garlic pieces and spread it on the focaccia. This is gonna be a brown and white meal. I've had some colorful meals in the past, so you're gonna have to forgive this one. And then just spreading the garlic as best I can. Oh my God, it's so good. That was super fast, probably the fastest cooking I've ever done on this show. Ooh, nice. Mm. Perfectly done. It's just got a hint of that garlic and lemon because it wasn't in there for very long. And warm feeling, oh, I love scallops. I should make scallops more often. Let's take off the garnish. Who needs that? That's toast that have just soaked up all of that butter and oil. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is so easy to make. You will be outraged at the cost that this is at any restaurant. Mm, mm, mm. The outside has those caramelized notes that are really just lovely and the inside is so delicate. The texture is meaty, but not chewy and not stringy or nothing like that. This one, the outside is gonna be super crispy. Mm. If somebody had told me I had put honey on this, I would believe them. That's how sweet they are. So imagine serving this to guests with like a little bit of arugula. They would be so impressed. That's it, that's like super easy. Literally all you do is sear them and if you want to add a flavoring to the oil the way that I did, you can. Thanks for tuning in and joining me on this culinary, I don't wanna say journey because it was really easy. And tune in again for another episode. Scallops are great. I wonder how sustainable they are.